everyone. Today we will meet Dr. Ashish, who has more than 11 years of experience in gastroenterology, and we will get to know everything about hepatitis from its symptoms to its treatment. So let's begin. So we will start with the question: What is hepatitis? Hepatitis is basically inflammation of the liver. in which there is swelling of the liver cells which lead to release of toxins in the body and it can be due to various causes uh, like alcohol viral infection and other causes leading to various kind of problems so the cluster of all the problems together is known as hepatitis so sir what are the different types of hepatitis and how are they different from each other there are various types of hepatitis which it can be due to alcohol it can be due to viral infection fatty liver can also lead to non alcoholic steatohepatitis hepatitis it can occur due to toxins also and obviously the etiology or the cause of different type of hepatitis are they differ from each other and uh, the symptoms as well as the duration of hepatitis the treatment everything differs and is based on the cause of the hepatitis what are the causes of hepatitis and how is hepatitis transmitted first is alcoholic hepatitis and it is due to alcohol intake or regular alcohol intake the other cause which is generally transmitted is viral hepatitis so it can be due to hepatitis a b c d or hepatitis e so hepatitis a D and E they are generally uh, transmitted due to fecal oral route and it is due to contamination or the food which is contaminated some foods that we are taking which is contaminated so we should ideally properly wash all the foods and after that only we should use the food and in hepatitis B and C it can occur due to some uh, blood transmission or sexual route or Uh, due to some nasal prick injury or sharp injury the hepatitis can transmit from one person to another person now the question comes what are the symptoms of hepatitis so the most common symptoms are jaundice fever pain in abdomen swelling in the abdomen leading to fluid accumulation inside the abdomen and decrease in appetite weight loss and decrease in urine output and generalized weakness all these are the major symptoms now how can a person know that he has hepatitis or how can a person be diagnosed with hepatitis a patient is realizing himself that he is having hepatitis in uh, if a patient is having fever as well as weight loss then uh, they should think that they are they might have hepatitis and they should consult a doctor and generally what happens is the relatives of the patient they tell them that you are having jaundice and you are having some fever or there is some uh, weakness loss of appetite that is going on and you should consult a doctor in these cases firstly uh, after consulting a doctor liver function test should be done and in liver function test we can uh, see the liver enzyme and we can get a basic idea whether the patient is having hepatitis or not and after that to confirm what kind of hepatitis the patient is having we can get the uh, viral test like hepatitis a b c d e we can get those tests done and in case if there is alcoholic hepatitis then in those cases liver biopsy may be required to confirm the level of inflammation that the patient is having in the liver cells and ultrasound of the abdomen if the patient is having jaundice or if there is abdominal distension then in those cases ultrasound or ct scan of the abdomen should be done few patients also develop blood in their vomiting and in those cases endoscopy test may also be done so sir how should a person proceed after he is diagnosed with hepatitis or what is the treatment process for hepatitis the treatment process also differs according to the cause of hepatitis if a patient is having hepatitis a d or e or if there is acute hepatitis b or c then in those cases there is acute pain fever and uh, decrease in appetite in those cases they'll require rest prevention of dehydration uh, 
um, some medicines to uh, decrease the fever and pain and generally the patient settle in one or two weeks due to this uh, yeah, from this viral hepatitis and they generally do not require any prolonged treatment whereas in patients with chronic hepatitis B and C they will need antiviral medication after confirming the level of hepatitis B and C and the treatment generally lasts for 3 to 6 months in hepatitis C and for many years in cases of hepatitis, chronic hepatitis. So sir, what all are the long term problems that can happen due to hepatitis? Okay. So if a patient is having chronic hepatitis B or C or alcoholic hepatitis, these patients in long term can develop chronic liver disease or cirrhosis they can even develop liver cancer as well as liver failure so one should take treatment for hepatitis one should get a regular checkup every three monthly for uh, the ultrasound as well as other blood test whether they are developing the other uh, you can say cirrhosis or liver cancer and in case if there is any lesion any doubtful lesion in the ultrasound or the blood test then the CT scan evaluation should be done and the treatment of those lesions can be done at an early stage. So one should definitely keep a regular checkup, one should definitely do, uh, do a regular checkup to rule out these severe problems. In case if there is any uh, end stage liver disease or the patient is developing blood in vomitus, ascites, there is abdominal distension and accumulation of water in that moment, these patients may require liver transplantation also. So, a regular follow-up consultation is very important in these cases. How to avoid getting hepatitis? In case if a patient, if a relative of a patient is having hepatitis, then if it is hepatitis A, E or D, then it does not transmit through, uh, it does not transmit to other person. Whereas if a patient is having chronic hepatitis B or C, then one should avoid using the same razor, one should avoid using the same toothbrush and uh, in case if there is blood spill, if there is any trauma to the patient itself, there is any spillage of the blood, one should avoid touching that blood because the it can transmit through the, through the blood uh, stream and one should also uh, do a protected sexual intercourse because it can also transmit through the sexual so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much Dr. Ashish and please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos like this and also do like, comment and share this video. Thank you and stay healthy.